dear future husband, it's hard to believe that the day we've dreamed of since we met is finally here. It's hard to believe that our forever starts today. It's hard to believe that I have the privilege of marrying a man like you, a man who loves like Jesus does, a man who serves with his whole heart, a man who is strong and brave, and a man who lets God lead his life no matter the cost. Today, we give him everything. Today, we give each other everything. And I love and I joyfully give you my hand, my heart and my life from now until the end of time. Drew, there are so many reasons I write this letter to you. I write this because I know God gave me you and I love you. You are my bride, my best friend, the love of my life, my girl, and my wife. It's amazing that we are about to get married. The first day I saw you, I thought you were stunning. I thought there's no chance I could get her. By God's grace, I did. I actually met my wife and didn't know it. I love your love for Jesus and his church. I love your passion for kids. I love your compassion towards others and also your love for your family. I love when we cuddle and I love when you hold my hand. I love when you call me babe. I love when you ask me questions and I love good morning texts. And I love when you're by my side. My life has changed so much since this happened. I learned a lot about myself, the good and bad. I learned to love a woman and all of her good and bad. Through our ups and downs, one thing hasn't changed. I love you. I'm blessed to have you and I will always strive to love you even when it's hard. Let's grow old together. Michael. As we look back in the, in the garden, in the book of Genesis, we see something incredible, Drew and Michael. We see the definition of marriage. Marriage is between one man and one woman. Not a car and a man, not animals and a man, but one man and one woman. We also see something incredible about marriage as well. We also see that at the center of marriage is God. God was at the center of the marriage between Adam and Eve. And so must God be at the center of your marriage. In the book of Genesis, where it talks about what Adam said when he saw Eve, he said the two would come together and be one. The word one in the Hebrew is ekad. It's made up of three letters, strength, unity, and journey. But you are becoming one. And the word one there means strongly united for the journey. God is going to take you places you never dreamed you would go. He's going to let you experience things in Him that you never thought you would experience in Him. And it's all going to be because you are strongly united for the journey. I, Michael. I, Michael. Take thee, Drew. Take thee, Drew. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poor. For poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love. To love. And to cherish. To cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Drew, repeat after me. I, Drew. I, Drew. Take thee, Michael. Take thee, Michael. To be my wedded husband. <laughs> to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poor. For poor. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. And to cherish. And to cherish. Till death. Till death do us part. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. The Lord keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift you up in his countenance and give you peace. Michael, you may kiss your wife. <laughs>
All right, all right. Emphasis. Okay. One, two, three. We love you. Have, Have a, a good, good night. night.